welcome 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 to this live streaming and today we are going to learn one of the most important topics the topic is how to get your asq lean six sigma black belt certification we are going to understand various points of it like what is a black belt certification what is the eligibility criteria for it how to get this lean six sigma black belt training then what are the different steps that we need to follow during your entire journey right so we are going to see everything in detail now let's start with the definition that's the first part what is that what is the black belt certification in lean six sigma right so that first part let's understand that when we talk about the lean six sigma black belt certification we need to understand two important things here it is advanced level of certification you see the hierarchy in lean six sigma white belt in belt and then there is a black belt so it is a fourth level of certification we can also call it as a advanced level certification in lean six sigma this certification is used to acquire massive skill sets to solve any problem in your organization work culture or anywhere this certification not only trains you on the massive skill sets to solve the problems but also includes leadership and mentoring skills not only to drive the multiple projects but also the teams that's why this position is very important into the organization which are driving lean six sigma as a culture this is also important uh, into the organization though they are not following this culture but for the career growth of individual working professionals that's why it's a very important certification once we understand uh, what is this lean six sigma black belt certification and why it is important now let's go to the second point what is the eligibility criteria can anyone go for this certification now there is a criteria let's understand what is that criteria there are two important criteria for this lean six sigma black belt certification the first one is you must have 3 to 5 years of working experience working with body of knowledge body of knowledge is a not we can say the any organization or industry which is having some systems and you are demonstrating your knowledge there so you must have 3 to 5 years of experience and you must need to complete one project following the lean six sigma methodology before to appear for the examination so these are the two important criteria you must have 3 to 5 years of working experience and must complete one project along with your training once we understand what is the importance of this lean six sigma black belt training and what is the eligibility criteria for it now the third point that we need to understand where to get or how to get your lean six sigma black belt training or we can say the sequence is starting once we understand what is the lean six sigma black belt certification what is the eligibility criteria now let's go into the process and the first step of this process is to get your lean six sigma black belt training before i have also con conducted the live stream on this what is the importance of this lean six sigma black belt training and how we can get that but let me repeat that in short you must get the accredited and best training because this training is also important when you are going for the examination and also into the real life application of all the tools and techniques that you are going to learn so get the accredited and best trainings these trainings must have in depth content with practical examples and case studies so that you must have not only the theoretical knowledge but also practical knowledge about the lean six sigma you must have the hand holding support during learning as well as execution of the project because the theoretical life theoretical knowledge and the practical knowledge is totally different when we go into the practical implementation of it there is a different situation that are arriving and you need to select the different tools depending on the situation that's why it's very important you must have the hand holding support not only to clarify your theoretical doubts but also the practical questions the organization from which you are getting this training must have the mock test so that they are ensuring that you are prepared for the ask examination whatever the certification they are going to provide you must align with the ask that's the fourth important point now if you look at the pricing for this training so there is a wide variety of ranges that are available depending on the organization to organization and what are the resources what are the overheads they are having but if you see the range it is having the 36000 indian rupees to 178000 indian rupees 
or in other words, we can say if you talk in terms of dollars, it is from $450 to $2230. So this is the pricing that is available into the market if you are going for this Lean Six Sigma Black Belt training. If you want to learn about what is the best training that is meeting all these criteria, but having the affordable cost, and at the same time, providing you the lifetime support for your learning as well as practical execution, then please visit at this link, vijayasabai.co slash LSSBB, Lean Six Sigma Black Belt. If you can visit here, you can get the entire details and the most practical and effective program to learn this Lean Six Sigma. Now, once we understand uh, this training part, the next part is about completion of the project. So the second step is complete your Lean Six Sigma Black Belt project. Now, when we are completing this Black Belt project, we need to again understand two important things here. The first one is we need to follow the DMEC methodology. Define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. That approach we need to use, and we need to solve the problem that is very bottleneck or important for the organization. We need to list down all the tools that you have used and what are the benefits of application of the tools that your organization has got. So you need to document here both tangible as well as intangible benefits that you, your team, and your organization got from the implementation of this project, right? So you need to follow the DMIC methodology and note down all the two tools, techniques that you have used and what are the benefits for it. This is the second step. Now, the third step is once you complete the project, you need to document your project affidavit, right? Because this is very important for the ASQ examination. If you are going to appear for the ASQ examination, you must have the project affidavit that you need to submit to the ASQ. And after approval of this affidavit, only you are eligible for the examination. So the third step is document project affidavit. Now, what is this project affidavit and what it contains? So let's go into the detail of it. It consists of four important things. First one is what are the project details, including the purpose of the project or business case. Second, business justification for the project. It is a part of, again, project details. Then what are the tools that you have used during the entire implementation of this project? What are the benefits of that and uh, final benefits after the successful completion of the project and the fourth thing is the approval or by the verification of project completion and results by your project champion verification of project completion and results by your project champion so this project champion can be your plan manager or can be the official authority like your finance manager right so this is also required verification of the results now the verification of results is like what was the before scenario and what is after scenario in addition to the what are the financial benefits your organization got after implementation of this project you can also document what are the improvements in terms of productivity employee morale or customer satisfaction so there are multiple things that we need to document explaining what are the benefits of this project right so this is very important this document is the document which is opening the door for your ASQ examination. So this document is very, very important. Now, once we talk about this document, to understand and to fill this document very clearly, we need to implement the your Lean Six Sigma knowledge into the real life. And to for the implementation, you must get most effective and practical training of the Lean Six Sigma, right? So it's a very important thing. Now, the fourth thing is about how we can prepare for the ASQ examination. I can see there are some questions are coming. So let me complete uh, this entire flow and then I will take all your questions at the end of this live streaming. Okay. Is that fine? Great. Thank you so much. So let's talk about preparation of ASQ examination. Now, this is a very important topic because it is having the multiple elements. Because here I'm going to explain four important things, including what are the topics and on which topic we need to have the more strength, right? So if you want it, please make a note of it. You can also take a picture if you want. There are two important modes of examination. If you go for ASQ examination, there are two modes. The first one is computer delivered and the second one is paper and pencil. 
Now, these two examinations are totally different depending on their mode. In computer delivered examination, you are having total number of questions as 165. Out of that, 150 questions are scored and 15 are unscored. And examination time for this examination is 4.5 hours. The benefit of this computer delivered examination is that if you are having doubt about the answer of the question, you can mark that for the review and you can review all the questions at the end of this examination. So that's the benefit with computer delivered examination. Whereas paper and pencil examination consists of 150 questions and the examination time for this examination is four hours. So this is a difference between computer delivered and paper and pencil. So you can select any mode of examination depending on your comfortness, right? You can go for the computer delivered or paper and pencil. So this is for the mode of examination. Now the second point is about the questions from topics. If you can see, there is a wide variety of questions that are having into your Lean Six Sigma Black Belt training. And for each of the topic, there are number of questions which are coming, they are fixed. Like the first topic is about organization-wide planning and deployment. This is also called as enterprise-wide deployment, EWD. The number of questions which are coming on this topic are fixed. You will be getting 12 questions from this topic. Then the second point is about the organization process management and measures. We can also call it as project management. And you will be having the total number of questions as 10 from this topic. Team management, the most important topic we can say, you will be getting the 18 questions from this. Now I have seen that many of the working professionals are having very low score on this team management area, right? So please focus on this. For from the defined phase, you will be having the 20 questions, major phase, 25 questions, analyze phase, 22 questions, improve phase, you will get 21 questions, control phase, 15 questions, and from DFSS, you will get seven questions. DFSS is nothing but the design for Six Sigma. Now to make it easy, in my community, in my learning management system, I have made a complete test, which is completely aligned with the ASQ examination, and the difficulty level is same as, or we can say even more than the SQ examinations. So I have taken care of all these questions. I am having the more than 1500 questions into my system. And if you want to practice that questions, or if you want to ensure that you are ready for this examination, you can simply visit at vijaysabe.co slash test LSSBB, test Lean Six Sigma Black Belt, whether you are prepared or not. If you want to test that, please take that test and you will get the awareness about what is your readiness for the Lean Six Sigma Black Belt certification for the ASQ. Now, if you come into the examination fees, there are many organizations which are not taking any fees for the examinations. But if you talk about specific to the ASQ examination, they are charging you $538. So if you want to appear for the ASQ examination, you need to pay this additional amount for the ASQ examination in addition to your training cost, okay? Now, if you talk about uh, the system or the training that I'm covering, so it also includes the free handholding support for this ASQ examination as well, without any extra charges. You can get the details of this entire training, most effective and practical training with handholding support to your project, your ASQ examination, or any the lifetime projects that you are going to take. You will get the link into the description sections. Okay, so this is about the examination. Prepare for the examination. Now, once you prepare for the examination, you give that up examination, then there is a last part, which is about the certifications. You will get the ASQ Lean Six Sigma Black Belt certification once you're meeting this, all these criterias. Now, what is this criteria to get the certifications? You need to pass this examination, ASQ return test, ASQ Lean Six Sigma Black Belt return test that you need to pass. But what is the passing score for this examination? So this passing score is based on the difficulty level. And uh, you will get the certification based on these two criteria. What is the difficulty level for the organization and what is the score that you have got into the examination? So my recommendation to you is don't focus on the score, whatever the score that you are getting and try to get as maximum as, right? So this is the important thing. Now, the second thing you need to remember about this certification, whatever the certification that you are getting, 
that means a school in six sigma black belt certification that is having the validity of three years so after three years you need to go for the recertification again this recertification consists two things you can go for the examination again or you need to collect the recertification points that you can use for the recertification i will have this sub uh, i will conduct the separate session on this how we can collect these recertification units into the next sessions or next live stream but here as we are having the focus on how to get this asq lean six sigma black belt certification i am covering all the important points here if you are to if you are having any confusion please go through this entire points that i have discussed now and you can also connect to me you can also write to me on my email address if you are having any doubt okay now let's come back to the points what are the points that i have covered i have explained you what is the lean six sigma black belt certification why it is important what is the eligibility criteria and uh, the five step sequence that you need to follow to get the certification okay now let's come quick come into the questions part what are the questions that you are having related to this okay there is a hello hello to trend what is the question that you are having please write all your questions into the comment box and i am ready to answer your questions okay if no questions then it's a really great thing and uh, if you want to know more about uh, the program that i am providing on the lean six sigma black belt most effective practical training program with a lifetime hand holding support you can check out this link if no questions then uh, thank you so much for your valuable time and i'm sure with this live stream i answer all your questions related to this lean six sigma black belt certification from the sq thank you and See you in the next live stream.